folks, the incident at Manchester Airport with the police and two or three Asian gentlemen earlier this week. You know I've done a video on it. If you've, well, if you've watched it, you know. You know I've commented. You know my uh, first opinion was shock and horror. Um, the policeman in question, the guy that's kicked somebody in the head and tried to stamp on his head, has been uh, suspended. I believe he should be sacked absolutely straight away. We're one of us to do it. That's what would happen. Uh, got a little bit of a backlash from some people uh, saying, because um, I mentioned racism and saying, you know, um, there's two sides for every story. I do get that. Um, I think I did a follow-up video with further thoughts. And this is probably the third and last video on the subject because there's more footage that's been released today or I've only seen it today. And when you're watching, I'm going to contradict myself from a number of angles here. I don't think there's any reason for a policeman to kick somebody in the head and try and stamp on the head at all, especially when the person is on the floor. I did think, because a lot of the video footage is grainy and a lot of it's been shrouded out, that the guy on the floor was cuffed. He wasn't, although he had his hands behind his back. Um, he was de pretty much defenceless. But now we've seen more video of the Asian gentleman and I think this, this guy in, in the main and how aggressive he was. Now, I don't know when the police man tried to arrest another man if he was too aggressive or not. I'm not so sure about it. You can't see enough. But what you can see is one, definitely one, possibly two Asian gentlemen, but one in particular, really, really, really aggressive. Going for one policeman, jumping on another guy's back, taking him by the neck and trying to strangle him. The same guy actually is the guy that punches the WPC out, knocks the lady over, punches her full in the face and knocks her over. That must have been how she broke her nose. Now, I did hear a person who broke the nose, but we'd never seen the act before of somebody punching in the face. What I will say is this. For all, there's absolutely no reason for anybody to kick anybody in the head, and there isn't. Um, I mean, many would say that's the worst of the worst. I put a bloke, whoever it might be, Hitting a woman in the face, punching her in the face and knocking her down. Almost every bit as bad. I know a kick in the head is even worse, even more cowardly. But I think knocking a woman out is just is just as cowardly. I don't ever think there's any reason to hit a woman. I really don't. And to punch a woman, certainly not. And for one of the public to do it against a police officer, I mean, that just shows no respect for the law, no respect for anything. They think they're above the law. So for me now, my stance hasn't changed. That policeman should be sacked 100% for me. Um, should he do jail time? Yeah, possibly so, possibly. A lot won't agree with that. But by the same token, the Asian gentleman, and this is nothing racist on my part, I don't know the guy's name or whatever else, I mean, he should suffer probably almost the same fate as the policeman. I mean, you cannot punch any police officer like that. And punching a woman, it's, yes, she's a police officer, but it's still a woman. It's just cowardly in the extreme. And I don't think enough is going to be said about that. It's all going to be loads and loads and loads of people getting on about police brutality and white against Asian rather than the cowardly act of an Asian guy punching out. Uh, I think she was a white police officer. I'm not so sure, but that doesn't really matter. wouldn't matter what the colour of her skin was. Uh, do you punch a woman in the face for me? No, 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 no. Is it every bit as bad as everything else we saw that day? If it isn't, it's not far off. So I do hope that it's uh, handled uh, evenly handed. I do hope that the the gentleman in question, the guys that got arrested, don't get away with a lot more than they would normally get away with just because of that one episode and what the policeman did and the, and the outcry that it's caused. I do hope they get proper, proper justice. I really do. It's got to work both ways, folks. Got to work both ways. And as I say, in my book, you is a woman, you scum. That's all you are. It doesn't matter what the colour of your skin is or her skin for that matter. You it's a woman, you scum. Many religions don't see it that way. They're second class citizens, citizens, women. They're not in this country, I don't believe, and nor should they be in this country or any other. Anyway, that's it from me. That's just an opinion. It'll cause some controversy, I know, but that's what I do. Not personally to cause controversy, but to give an opinion. And there's a comment section underneath. If you want to give yours, feel free, however, however scathing it may be.